What's up, scholars? Today we're talking about triangles. What's a triangle? Well, it's uh, when you take three non-collinear points and then you connect them with some segments. Et voila! We have a triangle. Okay, we can classify triangles by their sides and their angles. So every triangle has two names. One name that talks about its side, and another name that talks about its angles. So let's talk about the names of triangles based on their sides first. We've got three options. Either all of the sides of the triangle are the same, or two of the sides of the triangle are the same, or none of the sides of the triangle are the same. So let's draw the first one. All the sides of the triangle are the same length. If we don't draw them perfectly, it's fine. We just use those markings, which mean all of these sides are congruent. They're all the same length. This is called an equilateral. Equal sides. Right? Equi is equal. Lat means side. So equal sides. All three sides are the same. We could also have two sides the same. Have two of these sides be the same, and the third side is something different. That triangle could also look wide, too. Two sides are the same, third side is different. This is called an Ices. I use a triangle where two sides are the same, or we could have the third option where all three sides are different lengths. Boom, 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 boom. All three sides are different. This is called a scalene triangle. Those are the three ways to classify a triangle by its sides. So let's talk about how we can classify triangles by their angles. We could have all of the angles be the same. They are all the same, as indicated by they all have the same number of arcs. This is called an equiangular triangle. All sides are the same. Oops, sorry. Well, all angles are equal to each other. And it is true that if a triangle is equal at angular, then it will be equilateral and vice versa. If equilateral then equiangular. That will always be true. And vice versa. Okay. So maybe all the angles are equal to each other. Um, that's one way to classify a triangle by its angles. Now we're not going to worry about uh, whether two angles are equal or one angle. That doesn't make any sense. The other way we're going to talk about the angles in a triangle are the ways that you've classified triangles before definitely like, what if we have a 90 degree angle? What kind of triangle is this? Right angle. Or maybe we have all of the angles in the triangle are less than 90 degrees. All angles less than 90 degrees. That's called an acute triangle. This is so cute. Or we have one angle that's huge. One angle that's bigger than 90 degrees. One angle bigger with a B. Bigger than 90 degrees. And that is called an obtuse triangle. So again, every triangle names one we talked about its side. And one that talks about its angles. If a triangle is equal, equiangular, it will be equilateral. If that triangle is equilateral, it will be equiangular. Okay, let's talk about some more triangle vocab. We've got this word called vertex, which are the corners of a triangle. So every triangle has three vertices, which is the plural. 
That's a vertex. That's a vertex. And that's a vertex. Okay. Cool. We've got adjacent sides. We've talked about adjacent things before. They are next to each other. So I've got this triangle. These would be adjacent sides. They're sides that are next to each other and have a shared vertex. Uh, these would also be adjacent sides. This side here and this side because they share that vertex. So this side here and that side would be adjacent sides. And of course this guy here and this one here. This side and this side would be adjacent sides. They're just sides that are next to each other. Sides that are next to each other. Alright, then we've got legs of a triangle. There are two different scenarios in which we would talk about the legs of a triangle. Let me slide this up. So, we have legs in a right triangle. The non-hypotenuse sides are the legs of a right triangle. We also have legs in an isosceles triangle. And those are the sides that are congruent to each other. So we've got the non-hypotenuse sides of a right triangle are called legs, and the congruent sides in an isosceles triangle are called legs. And of course we know the third side in a right triangle, that long side, is called the hypotenuse. It's across from the right angle. And the non-congruent side of an isosceles triangle is called the base. Okay, so these are our vocab words, additional vocab words about triangles are, we have the vertex of a triangle, or the vertices, the plural version, vertices. Every triangle has three vertices. They are the corners of the triangle. The adjacent sides are sides that are next to each other. So that side and that side are next to each other. This side here and that side here are next to each other. And this side here and this side here are next to each other. Sides are next to each other. We have legs in a right triangle. They're the non-hypotenuse sides. And we have legs in an isosceles triangle. Those are the sides that are congruent. And we have a base of an isosceles triangle. Okay, we're going to talk about two theorems related to the angles of a triangle. First, let's talk about the triangle sum theorem. What does sum mean? The answer to an addition problem. So that's going to say if we have a triangle, it does not matter what it looks like, any kind of triangle, if we add up the measures of all the angles in that triangle, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 is going to equal 180 degrees. Sweet. Now the exterior angle sum theorem. So for this one, I want you to draw a triangle and then extend that line along. Okay? So let's do angle 1, angle 2, angle 3, angle 4. So 4 is on the outside of the triangle, a.k.a. exterior to the triangle. Let's think about this for just a second. If these three angles, like we just talked about, add to 180 degrees, and angle 3 and angle 4 are a linear pair, so they add up to 180 degrees. So 3 plus 4 equals 180, and 3 plus 
1 plus 2 equals 180. Then the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is going to equal to the measure of angle 4, that angle on the outside. Pretty snazzy, huh? Oh yeah, pretty snazzy. All right, let's do a couple examples with these angle sum theorems. Right, we got two examples here, and both we're going to find x. Let's do the first one first. We've got this right triangle. we got a 42 degree angle up here, and we're trying to find x. Using our triangle sum theorem, we know that all these angles have to add up to 180 degrees. And we know that guy's 90, so we know 90 plus 42 plus x equals 180 degrees. Add our like terms, we get 132 plus x equals a buck 80. Subtract 132 on both sides, and we get x equals, I think it's 48, right? 28 minus 32. Yeah, good. 48 degrees. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And finally, we've got this triangle in B. We've got an angle that's x degrees big, 110 degrees. We don't know the third angle of the triangle, but that's cool, man, because we don't have to. We just need to know the exterior angle of the triangle. And our exterior angle sum, su uh, 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 exterior angle sum theorem says that this exterior angle to the triangle is equal to not the angle next to it, but the other two angles added up. So that means x plus 110 equals 4x minus 7. Let's get our x's all together. We'll have 110 equals 3x. 7 add 7 on both sides. We get 117 equals x. And divide by 3. Get x equals 3 goes in there. 3 times remainder. 3 goes in 27. And times x equals 39. Nice. Well done, scholars. That is our intro to triangles and some tips. So we talked about how triangles have two names, one that talk about their sides and their angles. The vocab words. We talked about the triangle sum, saying that all the angles in a triangle add to 360. And we talked about the exterior angle sum, which says an angle that is exterior to the triangle, it is outside the triangle, is equal to not the angle next to it, but the other two angles added up. All right, scholars, I love you. I miss you. I will see you next time. Peace out.